buying property in Turkey is one of the largest financial decisions you can make and having the right people in your corner can help you save all those a lot. My name is Berkan Özgür and today I will be talking about the topic related to Turkish residency permit. First of all, if you are looking to stay in Turkey for over 90 days, you will be required to have a Turkish residency permit. If you go over that period without submitting an application, you will get in trouble with Turkish authorities. It is something I certainly do not recommend anyone to do. So do watch this video carefully and until the end to find out about issues related to Turkish residency permit as well as how to get one. So when it comes to Turkish residency permits, there's a lot of possibilities, right? Um, but in this video, I will be going through the four main ones, which are getting a residency permit through buying real estate, the tourist residency permit, the family residency permit, and student residency permit. So obviously, as Kingsman Estates, we are estate agents here in Turkey. So let me let me start off by how to get Turkish residency permit through purchasing a property. So when you buy a property in Turkey, you are able to get a Turkish residency permit. This is a fantastic alternative to the Turkish citizenship program and it's for those people who do not necessarily have the budget to spend $250,000 or who might not be ready to become Turkish citizens yet and this way you can still be part of life here in Turkey without spending that sort of money and being a citizen. By the way, when I talk about tasting life here and being part of life here in Turkey, we may have a fantastic video about where I go around Antalya and taste delicious food. So if you like to see that video, click on the pop-up banner now. Anyway, let's continue. The benefits when you buy property in Turkey in order to apply for the residency permit is there's no limit regarding the, the property price, right? So technically you could buy a property for one pound or one dollar and you will be able to get a residency permit. However, whether you'll find a place for one pound is debatable, but let's continue. Also, the second thing you should really consider and be careful about is the fact that the title deed should be on the name of the person who shall be applying for the residency permit. However, the applicants spouse and children below the age of 18 are also eligible to get the permit as well. The property you buy has to be a condominium. It cannot be a commercial building or land. This is so that you can prove that you are able to live in that property due to your need for the Turkish residency permit. Once you finalize the property sale process, you can then apply for a two-year residency and once that two-year period is over, you can renew your residency. So technically, once you have bought the property, you you can keep renewing until the end of life as long as you are still the owner of that property. However, be aware that the pro this process is governed by law that's subject to change. However, we don't see a change coming in the foreseeable future. A regular question we get asked by our clients is, can I become a Turkish citizen at some point as I'm renewing my Turkish residency permit? The answer to that is yes. So technically, after five years, you can apply for the Turkish citizenship. However, it is a very lengthy process well, where you'll go through a big background and security check. You'll go through multiple interviews well, where you'll be expected to speak Turkish. So, and there's no guarantee in the end. So that's important to recognize and understand. If you're looking to become a Turkish citizen, we certainly recommend our clients to go through the citizenship by investment program where it is a guarantee. So the government does promise citizenship for people who buy property for at least $250,000. By the way, we have two great videos on the Turkish citizenship by investment program. So if you're interested in that, you can watch the first one by clicking somewhere around here. So another thing you should be careful about when applying for the residency permit through buying property in Turkey is you have to have your title deed on your name and it has to be available for you, right? So unfortunately, some people end up buying properties that are under construction where they do not have the physical title deed in their hand. So preliminary contracts and various other things in that sort of category is not enough for the applicant to be successful. So you, it can only be a property that 
that you are eligible to live in it, right? So that's important. Another thing is we regularly get asked by our clients, can we have four or five people within one property? So can we divide the shares of a property and buy the title deed, get the title deed among five people? Although we, within Turkish law, this is possible. However, this is not enough to apply for a residency permit in Turkey. So it can only be under the name of one person and the spouse and children below the age of 18 of that applicant is only eligible to apply for the residency permit. So do not forget that. At Kingston Estates, we help our clients from start to handing over the keys. And once the keys are handed over, we have a fantastic free after sales services. And one of those services is applying for the residency permit on behalf of our clients. So the documents we'll need from you is the title deed records, the proof of address from the municipality, which we help you register for, passport copies, photo biometric pictures of you and health insurance as well as power of attorney to our fantastic in-house lawyers who shall be following the process behalf of you. Right so that sort of brings us to the end of getting a residency permit through buying property in Turkey. So without wasting any time let's get on with our second category which is residency permit for tourists. So in order to apply for this one you'll have to show a place where you can live which essentially means a rental contract. Once you sign a rental contract, which has to be notarized by the way, it's very important, you may apply for a residency permit up to one year. I understand that uh, touristic residency permit does not have much gravitas and stature to it. However, there are plenty of benefits as well. Being able to buy a car, being able to get a driving license, being able to get free healthcare, being able to send your children to school, registering for utility bills, as well as being able to open your bank account is some of the benefits you get with the residency. If you're wondering on how to open a bank account in Turkey, click here. So the tourism residency permit is great for people who are looking to stay in Turkey for over 90 days and it is confined to tourism purposes, so that's important. And it allows you to travel in and out of the country without requiring a visa. At Kingsman Estates, we do not have a standalone service for touristic residency permits. However, there are a few methods to this. You can do this on your own which is not a difficult process alternatively you can do it with a lawyer which I would recommend so if you are looking for an English speaking lawyer do contact us and I will refer you to one of our English speaking lawyers but now I will carry on with explaining how to do this on your own you'll need few documents it'll be four passport photos passport copy your notarized tenancy agreement health insurance and your Turkish tax ID number I already said this twice but I feel the urge to say for the third time, your tenancy contract has to be not right right so that's important also obviously your visa for the initial entry has to be a valid one in order to apply for the touristic residency permit just go on the immigration website which you can find in the description box down below fill out your information just follow the website and it will take you through nicely once you have completed the initial application you will be issued an application form right so this would initiate your process of getting a touristic permit you have to save this document you have to print it out because if your visa runs out during this process, this application form would act as an ID. So if the police stops you, let's say, and IDs you, which they do have the right for, you, have, you must show this document as this is the only way they can identify you for the time being. So until your appointment date has arrived, you're not able to leave the country. If you must leave the country, do bear in mind that you will be subject to paying fines and you'll have to give a very good reason. Anyways, once you get to the interview day, you will have to gather extra documents which would state in the website, in the immigration website. And for the interview day, we strongly recommend you working with a lawyer, as I said earlier, because there are laws and other bylaws that affect the process depending on the circumstances of each applicant. Furthermore, a lawyer is the only person who is allowed to go inside the interview with you and let's say if you are missing a document you'll have a problem there as there's no legal requirement for Turkish civil servants to speak English or any other language therefore let's say if you are missing a document you'll have a problem communicating that with the civil servant which is not going to work out very well for you on the interview day you'll have your document
documents and file checked. If everything is in order, you will get an acceptance letter. After that, you'll have to wait one to two weeks to get it approved. And once that's being done, you'll have to wait one to two weeks more to have your card, the residency permit card, printed out in Ankara and sent it to your address you have provided on your notarized rental contract. Also do bear in mind that in smaller cities such as Fethiye, Bodrum, Antalya, the workload of the immigration offices is a lot lower, right? And plenty of people get approval on the day of their interview, so do bear that in mind. So do bear in mind that the Turkish authorities do have the right to not to renew your residency permit for the touristic one after one year, right? You have to show a fantastic reason why you would like to stay in Turkey for over one year as a tourist. This wasn't used to be the case, however, plenty of people got Turkish touristic residency permits and worked illegally, and it is just not something we are looking to to have in our country. If you are looking to live in Turkey for over one year, we strongly advise you to buy property in Turkey. That way you're not going to have any problems. Right, so that brings us to the end of the touristic residency permit. So let's continue with the third one, which is the student residency permit. If you like to study in Turkey, you'll have to get a student residency permit. You can apply for a college or high school in Turkey and the process has to be followed with your educational institution, right? So that's important. So let's get on with the family residency permit. If you are married to a Turkish person, you are eligible to get family residency permit for three years. And after that three year period, if you are still married, hopefully, you can then apply for the Turkish citizenship program, right? So that brings us to the end of another video. And I sincerely hope that you'll find great benefit from the information I have just provided. At Kingsman Estates, we respect your opinion and we love answering your questions. So if you have any questions, hit us from our WhatsApp number where uh, you'll see on the screen alternatively you can find our number on the description box down below as always please like subscribe and share this video as we post one video per week covering all issues regarding the turkish property market as well as life in turkey in general thank you